Hi guys, it's Hannah. Welcome to another um, reading challenge. Today I'm going to try and do the 24 hour reading challenge because I tried a 48 hour reading challenge and I kept getting distracted. However, today the rugby is on and last time the rugby was on I just read a book the whole time and um, it was a fast paced thriller and I was able to read the book within 48 hours so I think my prospects are promising. Um, the book of choice obviously is the one in my hand. It's Invisible Girl by Lisa Joel. I'm very excited to read this. Um, I saw um, India Reads read it in like 24 hours and she really enjoyed it and I love Lisa Joel's books. I think I'm going to grow a collection of her books. Yeah, the time is half past two on Saturday afternoon. Um, the rugby match has just started but obviously when you guys see this video the rugby will be like over. <laughs> like I'm, I'm quite far ahead in my YouTube videos so pre-filming them makes me have more time to read in actual time so anyway the rugby will be irrelevant at the end of February um and end of February slash beginning of March um so and technically because this is on my March TBR I figured well I've already done my February wrap up and I've not read anything for like five days crack on and see if I can read this and get it finished by half past two. Hopefully I will do, it's such a lovely day, it's lovely and sunny. I'll check in with you when I have something interesting to say or I have read a chapter. Have I been missing your letters? Did you write me at all? Or have I just forgotten how hard I fall? Is he stretching out your belt loops? With his fingers and his thumbs? Doing everything that I do? Was I not good enough? Does he feel better in your hands? Does he treat you better? Is he more of a man? I'd give you a kiss for every day that I've missed Just to show you that my lips taste better than his When times get tough, he'll run away But I'll be right beside you to make it okay He's stomping down your garden and eating now 4 p.m and um, to be honest this book has taken me a lot longer to read than i was hoping for because obviously it's now 4 p.m and i started reading at half past two um and i am only just on page 55 so i think if i really put my mind to it i can read it in 24 hours um but because the perspectives um are Sophia's chapters are in first person and then you get um, Sophia's therapist's wife's perspective called Kate um, and then you get the boy that lives next door but he's not really made that much of an appearance um, at the moment we've just had Sophia Sophia's in, in, introductory chapter and then we've had Kate's perspective um, and then Kate's daughter's perspective in, they're all in third person so I think that's making it really a bit like I'm confused but hopefully there'll be like an interlink that will make it make sense because I am enjoying the story so far linked to Sophia in that type of way um, and I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying um, reading about London um, I really must miss London I, I hopefully when things go back to normal I can go spend a weekend in London um, because the area this is set, set in is Hampstead Heath and I've actually never been to the area of London but I've always wanted to 50 pages and it's took me about two hours to read I don't I don't really know why or I don't know if the pace is gonna pick up and I'm gonna understand the story more I've got about like I think there's like 45 minutes until um, England and Wales play rugby so to hit the 100 page mark or hit you know, 150 pages that was my goal at the moment I'm um, really all all interlinks and it makes more sense as I go but so far I am and um, you'll be seeing this in like two weeks time when the rugby is over and we already know who won Like a flower that is losing its petals I saw people losing their head There are too many levels And nobody to tell you what's next She took her time to handle the ache Just 
just like taking a swan dive in a blue lake. How far we go if we have to fight the unknown? How far we go if we have to fight the Hello, it is, <laughs> I don't know why I sounded Australian, it's now, what even is the time? It is now um, 6pm <laughs> and again I've been reading for quite some time, again not got that far. Um, we have got to chapter, no I've got to page 110 so <laughs> like slightly more than earlier but still not my ideal reading situation and also this rugby match between England and Wales just oh my god it's so so good um and dramatic and I'm loving this rugby match anyway um <laughs> this video is not about rugby it's about reading for 24 hours so anyway Invisible Girl again I thought that I would have got a bit more used to the um perspectives I'm so confused by them at this point I thought it would have started to make a lot more sense. I think I'm understanding why we're getting Sophia's therapist's wife's perspective um, and she's called Kate and then we get Sophia's perspective and then we get Owen's perspective and then there's this mysterious person's perspective. I'm guessing this will make sense in further on in the book however um like i said i really haven't got as far as i hoped i would at this time in the day um so i mean i guess once this rugby match <laughs> oh my god once this rugby match is over hopefully i can read a bit more um we're gonna order a curry as well but the lines are all i think everyone's ordering a curry right now um because that match has been really controversial um there's been some like some tries and stuff. Anyway, by the time you see this video, this game will literally have gone through the void and stuff. But yeah, I think the perspective aspect of this book is just throwing me off a little bit. Like, and I I, I love Lisa Jewell's writing um, because her chapters are really short. However, like I said, the different perspectives is throwing me off because it's half two. Um, and a book, this book is 400 pages. I would have hoped to have at least been at the 200 page mark by now, considering it's quite a large font and etc. But at the end of the day, I've never read a book like this before. So yeah, that's kind of my update for now. I don't know if <laughs> being intoxicated and able to read at the same time, I guess that could be interesting. Currently 1 p.m. on Sunday. I filmed a bit this morning when I wake up, so I wake up at like 7am and I've been reading ever since that time. So we've got an hour to go and I have to say the book has picked up pace quite a lot. Um, it's much easier for me to understand the different perspectives now and it's starting to make a lot more sense. And I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, so currently I am on page... 343 out of 415 so um honestly really really think i will get it done today in precisely in an hour to be precise because i started this 24 hours uh yesterday at half past two um and it's such a beautiful sunny day that i want to finish this and go and enjoy the sunshine because I love days when it's like spring sunshine, it's nothing but blue skies. I hardly have any makeup on today in comparison to yesterday. I have a tiny bit of mascara and lip gloss um, and I kind of brush my eyebrows but I just really want my skin to be able to breathe and um, lockdown weight is definitely showing because this top is a bit too tight on my arms which Anyway, um, Invisible Girl, I'm really enjoying it um, now. I wasn't to begin with, and on the back, I didn't realise it said this, but it makes a lot of sense now. It says, a wonderful slow burn gripper. And that is very true because the first half of this book, I wasn't really feeling it and I wasn't hooked. However, the 
second half I guess you would say I definitely am more more intrigued um just um there should be like trigger warnings because at the start of this book and mentioned throughout there are a lot of talk about self-harm and some incident that happened to Sophia um as a child that could be quite triggering so I think if you do read books like this from authors such as Lisa Joel you have to go in with a mindset that you might read something that might be triggering to you and if you're not in the bed not in the bed not in the best headspace perhaps maybe a different book of hers would be a good one I know she's got a book um what's it called she has a book called um the truth about melody brown and i think she had one that um was like more romancy again this is the third book i've read by lisa joel so i don't quite know um however my goal like i said is to finish it um in the next hour and I think I can do it and I'm very impressed because when I did my 48 hour reading vlog I I kept getting distracted and granted when you guys see this in video in two weeks time two weeks time I would have probably read half of my March TBR um anyway there's no rugby today so I can enjoy the sunshine which is good so um yeah Anyway. I think my last clip before this I said I don't know if I can read if I'm intoxicated and then I had like one other drink and then I read to page like 200 last night so I have been reading since 7am um, and I think I'm gonna do it and I really 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 want to read more of Lisa Joel's books. Um, I don't know what other one I should pick up because there's so, so much choice and I don't know if they're gonna be like samey if that makes sense. I don't know I think I just pick up books if I like the title or the cover so yeah that's my reading update for now do the time lapse <music>